Hello, my name is Matthew McGrew. I'm the Education Coordinator for the Archives and History section of the West Virginia Division of Culture and History. I'd like to talk to you about an exciting opportunity for 8th graders all across the state, the West Virginia History Bowl competition. Every year, students just like you compete in this thrilling display of knowledge about the Mountain State. In short, History Bowl is a trivia challenge, much like you see on various television programs. The only difference between those shows and this competition is that you get to be the star. Preparing for History Bowl is as easy as logging onto the internet. All of the questions from the competition come directly from two sources on the Archives and History website. Just go to www.wvculture.org forward slash history and click on the History Bowl link. From there, you can access everything you need to become a winner, specifically the quick quizzes and daily trivia. The quick quizzes is a compilation of over 2,000 West Virginia related trivia questions. I know that sounds like a lot, but don't worry. History Bowl teams usually consist of four students, so you and your teammates can easily split those up. We also introduce new questions every year through the daily trivia page, so be sure to check those out every morning and submit your answer. Respondents who answer the previous day's question correctly will be listed on that page as well, giving you and your friends a chance to see who can get the most correct. Now that we've talked about how to prepare for History Bowl, let's take a look at how the game works. Each match consists of two halves with 30 questions per half for a total of 60 questions. That's 60 opportunities for you to be a star. The first half requires individual effort with competitors using lockout buzzers to answer toss-up questions posed by the moderator. The clock is ticking. The questions keep coming. Will you know the answer? Let's take a look. In what year did West Virginia become a state? Uh, read four. 1863. Correct. What fruit is nicknamed the West Virginia banana? Yellow one. Uh, pawpaw. Correct. That sound signals the end of the first half. At this point, the moderator will confirm the official score. Students will huddle up and designate a team captain. The second half requires a group effort. The questions get harder and the tension continues to mount. Again, the clock is running. And in a close match, one question can make all the difference. Let's listen in. Red team, which West Virginia town was home to Kelly Axe? Charleston. Correct. Unless the score is tied, the match will end with the sound of the buzzer. Teams will shake hands and prepare for their next round. However, if the score is tied, it must be broken. For that, the buzzers come back out for a quick pace set of three questions. Oh, that reminds me. Don't forget to study those county seats. What is the county seat of Kanawha County? Red four. Charleston. Correct. What is the county seat of Jackson County? Yellow four. Ripley. Correct. What is the county seat of Ohio County? Red four. Wheeling. Correct. If you're interested in watching full-length matches, you can do so by following the link on our website to view last year's state championship rounds. History Bowl is an exciting chance to stand out from the crowd and showcase your competitive prowess. Remember, all you need to do is study the quick quizzes and daily trivia. Teams do require an adult sponsor, but that can be a teacher, administrator, or even a parent. The sponsor helps organize the teams and takes care of registration using the forms found on the History Bowl website. Each school can send two teams and there is no fee to compete. The competition is open to all West Virginia 8th graders, regardless of whether they attend public or private schools or belong to a homeschool association. Here at Archives in History, we are the gatekeepers to the state's past and are always excited to share this opportunity with the young men and women who hold the keys to our future. I'm glad you stopped by today and hope to see you at this year's competition. Remember, it doesn't matter how fast you run, how far you can throw, or how well you can sing. If you have the desire, you could be the next History Bowl champion.